Fishing on the Mekong River has never been an easy way to make a living. But here, where the river flows between Thailand and Laos, fishermen say it's almost not worth the effort these days. In the past there were plenty of fish here, and they were big. I could catch more than 20 every day. Now I've been fishing here for three days in a row, and I've caught nothing. Many people in Chiang Kong, northern Thailand, blame it on overfishing and dams built on the upper reaches of the Mekong River in China. The Mekong is the largest inland fishery in the world, and the people in this community want the dams stopped. They've been protesting against Lao government plans to build a dam downstream from here in Pak Bang, which they say will impact the ability of fish to migrate up and downstream. The dams that have already been built have changed the river's vitality. The currents have been altered, which is causing the ecosystem to malfunction. Construction of two dams on the main stream of the Lower Mekong in Laos is well underway. There are plans for at least seven more, including Pak Beng. The government wants to become the battery of Southeast Asia by exporting electricity from hydropower projects, mainly to Thailand. Much of the push to develop hydropower projects in Laos is driven by electricity demand in Thailand. Under the original proposal, around 90% of the electricity generated by the Pak Bang Dam was to be exported to Thailand. But that's now in doubt, after the Thais decided to hold off signing an agreement to purchase power from that project. The Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand wouldn't grant Al Jazeera an interview, but it seems it's realised that it may have enough power and won't need to buy more from Laos. Critics say another reason to reassess was July's partial collapse of a dam in southern Laos, which killed more than 30 people. I think the dam business is quite new in Laos, so there is no standard guideline or safety uh, procedure that like in case of Atapu, you know, like when the dam break, you know, um, the warning system, the road, access to road still a problematic in Laos. The Lao government says harnessing the energy of the Mekong is vital to its plans for economic growth. Opponents believe the cost to the environment and livelihoods outweighs the benefits, not only for Laos, but the whole region. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Chiang Kong, Thailand.